Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is DMA Controller. Before going through this video, my advice is to please look for the previous video which was about DMA introduction and the different modes of data transfer. That would be helpful for you to understand this topic. So let us discuss about DMA controller. As I have told you that DMA stands for direct memory access. Direct memory access means there is no intervention, no involvement of the CPU. Without the involvement of CPU, there is a direct data transfer in between the IO devices and the memory. I have discussed about the advantages and disadvantages. You must remember that also. Now, let us have a look on this particular diagram, which is about the DMA controller, direct memory access controller. If you see this diagram, you can see over here that there is a address bus buffer, there is data bus buffer, right? There is address, what is the use of address unit? Address unit is used for generating address so that particular IO devices can be selected for the data transfer. Data bus buffer that is used to store the data whenever there is a requirement to transfer the data. So buffer can hold the temporary data. It also has control logic. You can see here is a control logic and various lines you can see over here. So what is happening? First you can see DS. DS denotes the DMA select. When this will be active high means one will be at this particular pin means DMA will be selected means DMA will work. RS register select. There are three types of registers. One is address register. Second is word count register. Third is the control register. So address register that is used to hold the address of specified location of particular memory. Word count, it contains the total number of words which is to be transferred and control register, it specifies the transfer mode. So these are the three registers and register select RS means it will help to select register among these three. Read and write means which kind of operation is to be performed. Bus request, when DMA controller will work. So for working of a DMA, there is a requirement of the system buses. So bus request will be put to, from, to the processor. So DMA will put a request of the system buses to the processor. And when processor will grant the bus, then the control will be received to this control logic. When it will be one, right? It is active high. When it will be one, it means the control of buses is with the DMA. Now DMA will work. And interrupt when DMA has completed the entire operation. When the transfer is completed, the whole of the operation is done. Then DMA informs the processor by raising the interrupt that now the control of buses can be taken back by the processor. DMA request means request will be put for the DMA from the IO devices and when the request is being fulfilled then DMA acknowledgement is being sent to the IO devices means now DMA has a uh, system buses so that IO devices can transfer the data uh, with the memory means direct transfer of data can happen in between the IO devices and the memory right. You can see there is an internal bus internal bus to select any of these registers and whatever the data is to be that will be transferred with the help of the data bus. So data bus, address bus, all these things you can see over here. So here you can see as I've told you that address register will hold the address and data register will hold the uh, data, word count register will hold how many data is to be transferred. So when the control is being received by the DMA, now starting address and data count is to be set. Suppose the initial address, the initial memory location which is to be pointed out, which is to be point, that is 1000. And if there are total 50 data blocks or 50 words which is to be transmitted. So first location will denote first data. When that particular data is being transferred, that 
नेक्स्ट मेमोरी लोकेशन विल बी पॉइंटेड आउट नेक्स्ट मेमोरी लोकेशन विल बी वन थाउजेंड एंड वन नाउ रिमेनिंग नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स विच इज टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड और ट्रांसफर्ड दैट इज फोर्टी नाइन After 1001, when this data will be transferred, next location will be pointed out, which will be 1002. Now, remaining number of blocks or data which is to be transferred that is 48. And this process will continue, and internal checking will be done until and unless the data count reaches to zero. When data count reaches to zero, it means the entire operation is being performed, means transfer is complete. Now, DMA will inform the processor by raising the interrupt means the end of the operation so this is how the entire operation is being performed this is the detailed block diagram of the dma controller you can see over here so there is a processor cpu memory main memory which is the random access memory io peripherals dma controller as you can see again there is a dma controller and dma controller is the interface and this dma controller communicates with the processor and the data buses and the control lines so what is happening over here you can see in the processor in dma controller random access memory you can see read write address data lines right so what is happening over here when there is a request of dma right first dma request is to be so when there is a dma request dma request is being um, done uh, by the io devices io devices peripherals now what the direct memory dma controller will do dma controller will generate bus request signal so bus request signal it will generate and this bus request signal will be sent to the processor now what will happen when the processor is getting the bus request signal now it will put the starting address and data count on the ad buses and it will release the bus bus grant signal so bus grant signal will be given will be provided so when bus grant will be done it means now this dma controller has the control of system buses which is address data and control lines and when bus grant is being done it means dma acknowledgement is being done after this dma acknowledgement means dma has received the access or um, access for the system buses so now io devices io peripherals and memory can in between the this data can be transferred right so what is happening over here you can see there is a address select so when the address bus is having the address on the basis of this address select dms select here you can see the output of address select there are two outputs this is output number a and b a is what ds dms select it must be active logic one then it will be selected and second is for the register select as i have told you that there are three types of registers one will hold the address second will hold the word count and third is the control registers so register select is used to select one register among those three and interrupt is what after when the entire processes will be completed then the interrupt will be given to the processor and on the basis of this interrupt the processor will get to know that this is the end of the operation now processor can take back the control of the system bus right so this is how it is happening over here there is a very important point which you must uh, taken into the consideration when the input at this bus grant is zero means the this is at low logic means bus grant is not given by the processor when bus grant is not given by the processor it means processor is directly communicating with dma registers through the data bus for reading or writing means normal operation is being happening over there but when this bus grant is one active high logic when this bus grant is one it means now the processor has releases the control of the system buses and now dma is having the control of that particular system buses so that io peripherals and memory can directly communicate so you must re remember rs is the register select means selecting one register among the three which is from the address register word count register and the control register address register contains an address which is used to specify the 
particular location of the memory. Word count register will have the total number of words which is to be transferred. Address register will increment one after the each uh, word is transferred, but word count will be decremented by one. I have given you the example also, right? And control register always specifies the mode of transfer. So this is how you can understand how DMA controller work. In this particular diagram, see this diagram is very simple. You can see read control, write control, data buses, address buses, how they are connected, right? So when the bus grant will be active high means will be one, then only there will be a transfer in between the IO and the memory. Otherwise, the normal operation will be happening. This is what I have explained to you. Thank you so much for watching this video.